I attacked Point Crow in a YouTube short and I was wrong. And I wanna talk about what him and a lot of other content creators have been facing with Nintendo's content takedowns, as well as copyright strikes that they have been issuing to multiple creators across the platform, live streaming, shorts, and long form content all jumbled into one and how the industry in itself is at a turning point, at an inflection point of how dangerous Nintendo's actions and how dangerous content creation is going to get for creators around Nintendo content and why we as creators should be scared. Let's get started. Now, first off, I just wanna to apologize to Point Crow because at the end of the day, I made a mistake. I didn't do my research and I pushed a video out because I try and do one short every day and Sometimes that's hard for me. Sometimes in my life, I don't have enough time to do the research. And I didn't in this instance. And it besmirched your name. And I am no way trying to become a drama YouTuber or a drama reaction YouTuber. I don't want to be anything of the sort. And I want to say I'm sorry to Eric and his entire team for just putting something out there that was relatively false. But I do want to talk about some of the things that he talked about in his recent video, which was more of an open letter to Nintendo, and some of the things that I agree with and disagree with now that I have the evidence that he was willing to put forward. First off, I want to showcase some of the evidence that he showcased in his video about his videos getting taken down, issued copyright strikes, or just straight up demonetized for being within Nintendo's IP range, and the response that he got, or lack thereof, when trying to communicate with Nintendo about these copyright strikes, appealing them as such. And at the end of the day, when you when you put in this much work, when content creation is your whole world, companies should be willing to have conversations with you about why their IP is sacred to them and why they feel like it was misused. At the very least, to negotiate a path forward and not necessarily change anything that's happened thus far, but negotiate a path forward. So Point Crow knows where he stands within the community, where he stands within his ability to be a content creator. Because at the moment, everybody that has made Nintendo content is on high alert because of this situation and because of Nintendo's actions in the past. These are some of the examples that he uses to showcase the communication he had with Nintendo. He goes on to show snippets of Nintendo's game content guidelines and I just want to read a couple of the excerpts that he used to you guys to kind of showcase what Nintendo deems as fair use for its content. They go on by saying, what types of content are acceptable under the guidelines? What types of content are not acceptable? The answer to that question is we encourage you to use Nintendo game content in videos and images that feature your creative input and commentary. For example, Let's Play videos and video game reviews are within the scope of these guidelines. They go on to say, however, that you may not simply upload or live stream an existing Nintendo video gameplay footage without your own creative input or a copy of content created by somebody else. For example, mere copies of Nintendo's promotional trailers, tournaments, music soundtracks, gameplay sequences, and art collections are outside the scope of the guidelines. Now, Wade, this may be typically standard for fair use, and we've definitely seen that across the board in numerous different fair use lawsuits, whether it's H3H3 or the Chugga Conray Nintendo situation from way back in the day on YouTube. Fair use has always been a contentious issue on this platform, and they seem to lay out completely what they want. However, Point Crow goes on in his video to mention specifically what they were talking about in regards to his modded content and some of the guidelines that they establish and the lack of follow through thereof of other terms of service for their games. You might argue that modded content is in violation of these guidelines, but historically that's not the case. Uh, the terms of service for The Legend of Zelda says you cannot modify the game, but it also says that you cannot stream it, uh, you cannot make videos of it, and you cannot otherwise broadcast it. A Nintendo's game content guidelines changes this though by providing a license on top of the existing terms of service, which modifies the terms of service for content creators. All of the videos that they have taken down are in compliance with their own policies. I use Nintendo game content in my videos, and they are all featuring my creative input and commentary throughout the duration of the medium. Now, the one thing that I talked about in my YouTube short that I didn't necessarily know at the time, and definitely the major flaw in my own argument, is the fact that I assumed that he was making the mod available to his community, whether through a Patreon or any other of the sort. And he didn't. He modded the game Breath of the Wild to use for content and create a way for him to make interesting content 
on a more than seven year old game. And at the end of the day, it is still using Nintendo's assets. It is still using Nintendo's IP of The Legend of Zelda, but it is creating it in a way that makes it interesting and still worthwhile talking about in the gaming industry, even though the release of its sequel is imminent within less than a month. And at the end of the day, for me, I just continue to see Nintendo being completely idiotic when it comes to how it interacts with the video game community, whether it's with you recently saw with Point Crow and with Ludwig doing Melee and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild content and how they were wrapped around by Nintendo or how they've assaulted YouTubers in the past like Chugga Conroy and others as they developed what we know today as the Let's Play genre, or just how they generally attack people who review their games if they don't like what they're talking about. Nintendo is the most protected company when it comes to IP and how drastically it has to fight for something when nobody's really trying to take a shot at them. And no better case for this is shown in another piece of their content guidelines that Point Crow showcases. They say, we are humbled every day by your loyalty and passion for Nintendo's games, characters, and worlds, and respect that you want to be able to express yourself creatively by sharing your own original videos and images using content from our game. And frankly, Point Crow had like a lawyer statement in his video, and I highly respect that essentially because he's making a lot of money. I don't get monetization from YouTube videos. And Nintendo, I'm fucking pissed. Because at the end of the day, no other gaming company in the entire fucking industry treats its, its people, its community, its gamers with such disrespect and with such animosity for no reason. We love to the very core of our being the industry that you helped create, the games, the worlds, the damn players that you continue to create. I have two, two fucking Legend of Zelda pencil cups, two of them. I have so many different pieces of Legend of Zelda memorabilia. I went to go see the damn Mario movie when it came out. I have been a loyal Nintendo follower since the very beginning. I have owned every one of your consoles, even the piece of shit Wii U, and I have stood by you no matter fucking what. But you continue to assault the gaming community and you continue to assault creators that only want to showcase how cool and how fucking awesome your games are. And it is frustrating to my very core that as a gaming community, we have not taken a direct and a fucking formal stand against shit like this and how Nintendo continually assaults us when all we wanna do is enjoy the community that you have set before us, that you created. Nintendo, shame on you, and I'm sorry to Point Crow for not seeing his side of the story better. And at the end of the day, I hope my community can forgive me, and then I hope that the gamer community, especially the Nintendo community, can rally against such aggressive behavior and force Nintendo to right its actions. Good luck, Point Crow, good luck, content creators, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.